Hello everybody, just as I start the video, someone starts making some noise there, but never mind, we can live with that, can't we? So anyway, what I've been doing is building a raised bed today. There's no um, rain as yet, but it looks like it may happen. So I'm going to show you the raised bed behind me. Very basic carpentry skills required, nothing complex here at all. So I will show you now. This is it. So if you've been following me for a while, I had to start right now that sound never mind anyway so um the poly tunnel yes if you've been following me for a while you'll be well acquainted with this up here like that so there you go lovely lovely oh fantastico place anyway never mind right so this is the raised bed now it's a rectangle okay i hope i've got that right um you know four sides you know long longer one side and that side and shorter there which makes it a rectangle so there we go so quite happy with what we've got now very very basic concepts okay some two by four wood that i had uh, laying around now i would advise people if they're going to do this to paint it with some sort of um wood preservative which i may actually do now um it's generally best to paint the wood before you uh you you know before you um you know now nah, let's screw it together or whatever but uh, they do say that oh goodness gracious had to happen they anyway they do say that um you know this wood is treated you know whatever and it'll last for a while but uh, there we go so but i would recommend you paint it with something like uh, you know wood preservative whatever just give it a bit longer but anyway there we go so screw there screw there screwed straight through their long screws like that on each of the corners like this as you could see over there that one's slightly different we'll go into that in a moment and the same there i could put posts in one two um three four if i wished and then screw it to the posts i've done that with the other raised bed but in this situation i don't actually think it's uh, you know a necessary thing to do and i'm very you know very happy with this uh, concept so because i used just odds and sods of wood that i had laying around okay here this one went a little bit short so i just simply you know hadn't cut another bit of this off of another bit of wood and uh, just used like a brace just to you know hold it together but uh, yeah you know really really straightforward and it's not necessarily in the best position here it does get a fair degree of sun although not as much um sun as i would like but at the same time you know i'm not going to be getting uh you know overly sort of um concerned about it because uh end of the day the the main focus of my channel is to do the best with what you've got so hence uh, i use some two by fours that i had uh, laying around and um you know that's uh, that's basically it really so that's the raised bed so what am i going to put in it well the thing that i think this lends itself to very much probably later in the year is i'm probably going to set some brassicas in there some kale or whatever and then i can do a bit of crop rotation between the other raised bed and this one you know using sections to avoid getting a club root because you mustn't grow brassicas in the same place year after year brassicas being you know members of the cabbage family so brussels sprouts kale cabbage um cauliflower purple sprout and broccoli broccoli calabrese you get the idea yeah? brassica family you've got to rotate it club root you really don't want because the root goes into like a little club and the plant can't grow properly and it's quite hard to eradicate that so you don't want that but um yeah so i could put all sorts in here but uh, you know it's tempting to put some squashes in there i might even you know in the summer i might grow a load of runner beans in here but i will have a choice um i've got to decide whether i'm going to paint this right now i'm probably not going to but you know if you do this for longevity i recommend that you uh, you know you put your wood preservative on if you can so there we go another sort of brick in the wall if you will with regards to uh, working towards getting this place you know to the high level of food product productivity which i want so this is what i'm aiming towards decided to use the time today to do this you know very quick stuff and uh, yeah so you're getting the idea so what i've got is i've got um the soil in here from them compost bins that i mentioned earlier that's in there and i've got some other compost that i'm going to put in there just to fill it up really and then you know we're coming to the right time of year where some setting could occur i mean you know it fits in really well you know with the apple tree here now 
whilst I was building this, of course, and I've known it for a while, I may, I really don't want to move this tree, this apple tree, Worcester Pearman. I certainly can't move it now, but in the dormant season, I might, I might move it, you know, to get the composting area, you know, sorted out better in the corner here, along with the raised bed. But that's, I don't have to talk about, I don't have to think about that right now. It's a constant sort of uh, changing system, if you will. So yes, a lot of people um, they want instant results when they're gardening and uh, you can see this very often in people's gardens when you see shrubs, bushes, trees and plants conifers are a famous one for this uh, you know, being put in the wrong place close together and uh, you know, oh it wasn't that big when I put it in and now it's a massive uh, you know, pine tree but you know, this is, this is what uh, you know, so I basically, you know gardens consistently change and you know, they, they, they sort of take on the, the personality, if you will, of the person or people that have worked on them, whether it's a resident or a, a tradesman or a friend or family relative, whatever, you know, and that's what I've found. And, you know, it's slowly developing here, and I'm quite happy with how it's uh, sort of working out now, but uh, just planning on what I'm going to be setting in that bed really it's all exciting stuff and it's all good fun but i mean you know i've got loads of these runner beans i mean that could be a good runner bean location you know and i can consistently work on that soil in there and i can make it into a um you know i can make it into a really nutritious growing area and that's that's how i'm looking at it and just like these flowers are going to come out soon. I've got all these squashes look, all various you know degrees of squashes. They could go in there in the raised bed and I could just leave, leave them to romp away in the corner there. Romp away in the corner. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh. Oh well, I'm going to leave you on that thought and uh, yeah. Have a good day off and build yourself a raised bed if you want. It's all good fun, isn't it? Take care. Oh, if you like my work, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.